Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with another football mixer. This is Jaspie's nine box stiff arm football mixer. Pick your team number one, and we're giving away a Michael Thomas autograph football. Huh? Pretty nice, right? Beckett authenticated, so pretty nice stuff. So we'll randomize everybody's names from this list right here, and the name on top at the very end, we'll get it. There you go. So on a Thursday night, Brandon with Nanupal, last spot mojo. He got the last nine teams. Thanks to Car Blasters for looking that up. I didn't know what it was. Nine. Non-Oopal. All right, let's start with uh, all this college stuff right here. Come on, plates and patches. Hang out right there. Now, as you, we've seen a lot of these boxes in our uh, recent mixers right here. So by now, most of you should know that we're going to go by uh, the autographs anyway. We're going to go by the team that they play for currently. If they're undrafted or they're now playing in the AAF or the CFL, then they'll go, they'll go to the team that they were the pro team, the pro NFL team that they were most recently associated with. All right, <laughs> William Fulmer looking for that. Khalid Hill autograph. Is he a Seahawk? Maybe? Is that what we determined? I don't know who he is. Niner, maybe? No, he was in the last break. Right, a Seahawk. Is he still a Seahawk? All right. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. There might be a checklist for this Prism draft pick, so we'll look that up after this box. All right. First mystery person is Taekwon. No, he's not a mystery. I think he's a Titan. Taekwon Lewis. Oh, is a Colt. Got the right division, wrong team. Christopher C. with the Colts. Pen? There it is. Got some basketball on the TV right now. Utah at Denver, just starting. Optimus Prime, John Prime was at a basketball game earlier. It was in Orlando, where the uh, Magic beat the Warriors. There's Ronnie Harrison, I think he's a Jaguar. And he, Optimus Prime is saying it's, it's crazy how, how much they travel Seeing the game up close, 25 feet away. He is a Jaguar. That goes to Sanford. Yeah, the refs don't call traveling anymore. It's just not a thing.
There's Austin Prohl, a Tar Heel. Was he a Titan? No, he's a Ram. And that goes to Brandon, one of his last ball, last spot mojos. One of his nine. Nanupal, last spot mojo. We got Auden Tate. One out of ten. I pretty much think. Pretty sure he's a Raider. No, he's a Bengal. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Arden Key. This goes to Scott V and the Bengals. We're on to Cincinnati. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. A bangle. Then we've got a bulldog right here, a Martinez Rankin. Which, of course, as everybody knows, which everybody obviously knows, is a uh, offensive tackle for the Texans. Everyone knew that. Duh. That goes to Josh Rodriguez and the Texans. Rex is saying, just saw where the YouTube is turning off all comment sections on videos has kids in them. That's gonna suck for family for the family YouTubers. The comment sections in YouTube are like the armpit of the internet, Rex. I'm glad that, we don't even have comments turned on. You should see the garbage we get. Can't imagine what 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 like random kids get. Ah, Christian Lacouture. Everyone remembers where he, he what, what pro team he's associated with, right? The old, the old LSU Tiger, right? He is a defensive lineman, Ravens. So from one purple team to the next, that goes to Brandon Luger with the Purple Birds. No, you got it, Kip, on your Ravens. Six five, three hundred pounds. Taylor Lacouture is his uh, is his brother. Yeah, I think he got cut. Maybe he, maybe he's an AFF. Oh, Taylor, Taylor Lacouture, I see. Hello. It's easy on the eyes if you're into that sort of thing. All right. That's that. What about this? What is it? What year is this? This might have a checklist with pro teams attached to it. This is 2015 Prism Draft Picks. It isn't actually. You're right. I, I hope it does develop into a sort of uh, like a like a NBA developmental league. Kip saying AF, not that bad. I agree. Had a group break checklist do God's work on this. And do it by pro team. They did. Nice. So we're going to go by the... 
We're gonna go by the uh, checklist I just dropped in the chat. Usually we try to defer to the checklist first. Group rate checklist has done God's work and attached all of the players in their college uniforms to their pro team. So we're gonna go by that. Optimus Prime was saying earlier about the YouTube comments. Everyone has an opinion, but definitely not all should be shared. I agree. I always say that the that the blessing of the internet is that everyone has a voice. The curse of the internet is that everyone has a voice. Yeah, in AF you can actually hit the QB, right? Real football. AF, real football. Real American football. Real American football. All right. Let's go. 2015 Prism Draft Picks. With Wes Welker. There's Wes Welker to 199. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I don't feel so, I don't feel as bullish about the XFL. I think, you know, the AAF is really getting the backing of CBS. I think TB, TNT may be showing some games. There's Haoli Kikawa. Camo autograph. NFL Network as well. They're getting some Saints. NFL Network is really backing them as well. So, like, the league is backing them and... That will go to Brandon and the Saints. And I don't think I don't think XFL is going to get that kind of support. And we got Marcus Murphy autograph. Isn't Marcus Murphy also a Saint? He is. It's right there on the checklist. Marcus Murphy. A saint. So it's another one for Brandon. All right. So that's it for your college kids. Now let's see them in their pro gear. All right, now let's go into our stack of absolute. We have 2013, 16, and 17. We'll go with the oldest one first. 2013 absolute football. Ah, with the classic apple pie boxes. Wes Welker to 49. And we've got Jonathan Franklin, 21 out of 49. Triple Relic and Autograph for the Packers. Bobby Guzman with the pack. Next apple pie box. Ezekiel Ansa to four ninety nine, and we've got a triple relic: Vincent Jackson, Josh Freeman, Mike Williams. Team trios. Are any of those players on that team anymore? No, right. <laughs> Two thousand thirteen was a little while ago. Buccaneers with that triple relic. Mark Nation with the Buccaneers. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, Kip. It's a trio of used car salesmen. I'm sure Josh Freeman got decent money for being a quarterback. Out of 99, Alex Smith for the Chiefs. John Prine. Oh, John Prine said he was at he was at a basketball game today. Orlando Magic hosting the Warriors. Magic won. They had a family shoot the three, then half court shot. They won five grand. Nice. There's Tavon Austin. War Room NFL Draft Day tickets. It's expired, but is, is Tavon Austin a Ram? Is he still a Ram? No, I'm thinking of someone else. No, he was a Ram. In this set, he's a Ram. He's a cowboy now. So that goes to the Rams. That'll be for Brandon Luger. You know, someone did a half-court shot here in L.A. at the Lakers game. We gave away $100,000. I think Rory was here last night when I mentioned that, and he was just like, you guys give away $100,000? He's like, the Bucks games, we're only giving away five grand. I'll bet, uh, I'll bet, 100, I'll bet 100 grand in LA goes about just as far, relatively speaking, as 5,000 would in, the, in Orlando or in Milwaukee. It's worth about just as much. 257 out of 499, Robert Alford. Falcons. And it was sponsored by a casino, so I'm assuming the casino really ponied up a lot of money. One of the local Native American casinos here. That goes to Jake Cole. Jake Cole with the Falcons. Uh, now let's go into 2016. Absolute football. like a little history lesson in absolute football this is this is the uh premium retail edition or something like that we got rookie force deandre washington kind of a force not all the time who has my raiders that goes to brad brad with my raiders go raiders kyler murray for the raiders Trade Derek Carr, get more draft picks, try to start the team from scratch. No, that's Connor Cook. Sorry, Connor Cook. I don't mind Derek Carr, though. We got Rook Inc. DeForest Buckner. Deforesting. That goes to the Niners. That'll be for Brandon, one of his nine last bot mojo teams. Non Oopal, last bot mojo. All right, now let's go to 2017 Absolute Football. Good luck, everybody. The autograph is Chad Kelly. It's uh, Jim Kelly's son? No, not son. Like nephew? 
something like that. Uh, two, 296 out of 400. Rookie reflex autograph for the Broncos. Little oppo Joe Mojo going to Brad. And that's Peyton Manning. 50 out of 99. Tools of his trade. Looks like a, I don't know, jersey and glove maybe? Game use material though. So there you go. Next box. Good luck. Don't forget, folks. I'm giving away this uh, Michael Thomas autographed football at the very end. I'm going to randomize everybody's names at the end of the break. The name on top will get this football. It's inflated. This is about Tom Brady inflation right there. It's pretty good. Just the way Tom Brady likes it. There's Hassan Reddick to 499, and your autograph is rookie reflex, John Ross. We're on Cincinnati. 67 out of 100. We're on Cincinnati. That goes to Scott V. We're on to Cincinnati. The relic is Canton Absolutes. Aaron Ro is is he a Canton Absolute? Out of 49, relic. We're on Cincinnati. That goes to the Green Bay Packers, Bobby Guzman. Maybe, maybe if the, well, one more Super Bowl, maybe? I, I could get Aaron Rodgers in there in the conversation. In the hall. Andrew's saying Bengals are shopping John Ross. Isn't I think John Ross is from L.A.? We might have met him at one of the NFLPA Panini Rookie Premier events here in L.A., which I'm looking forward to this year. Oh, so he is a Canton absolute? Aaron Rodgers? I suppose so. There's Joe Green. Not as mean as you think he is. And there's Amara Darbo. Quad relic and autograph. Amara Darbo for William Fulmer and the Seattle Seahawks. Kip says he's pretty much guaranteed. So one more mortal lock. 3 out of 25. Can he win one? Can Can Aaron Rodgers win, win another Super Bowl? What do you guys think? He's. I guess he's got a new coach. They got to give him some weapons. You know, let, let's give him some, let's give that man some weapons. All right, let's see. What else should we do next? I think I'm going to do limited last. Maybe these one. Let's do certified. How about 2017 certified? Oh, William Fulmer is saying Aaron Rodgers will win another Super Bowl with another team. I don't know. With that new contract, I don't think he's going anywhere, right? Kip saying if 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 Warner is in, Rodgers is in. Brand Luger saying no, he's not going to win another Super Bowl. All right, 2017 Panini Certified Football. Good luck, ladies and gents. Ray Lewis to 299. And we got Joe Mixon. Three color patch and autograph. 230 out of 249. Scott V with the Bengals. We're on to Cincinnati. Jared Davis for the Lions to 999. 
Randall Corn on the Cobb to 499. Ezekiel Elliott, Easy E to 50. And Dalvin Cook. Ah, his old DC four days. 13 out of 50. His autograph has improved since uh, since the early days. Uh, rookie roll call auto for the Vikings, Derek P. I could change it right now. <laughs> he kind of does like a C uh, after after a while. Someone must have gotten to his ear. They say, Dalvin, come on. I got downtown Antonio Brown to 50. Where will he go? Kip, we haven't seen you in a little bit. Where do you think? We've, we've talked this out. Where do you think Antonio Brown's going to go? And Le'Veon... Bell, for that matter. Whoa. I don't think I've heard that too much. Kip saying, Kip speculating this team, the Chargers. Interesting. Phillip Rivers would like that. There's Taiwan Taylor. That goes to Brad and the Titans. Is that really a possibility? A possibility, or is that just where you th where you think a good landing spot is? Has there been rumblings about that? Brand says we'll take him in Seattle. Will Informer says we'll gladly take him in Seattle. He'd be a great fit in Seattle. Oh, so Kip, you're thinking best fit, Green Bay next best option to him. Man, that would be that would be something. I mean, Chargers, they, they think they're pretty much there. You know, maybe maybe Antonio Brown kind of gets them over the hump. They got a healthy Keenan Allen. Got Mike Williams there and Antonio Brown. And with, uh, with Melvin Gordon balancing out that offense with their running game. And they've got a solid defense. That could be interesting. Could be very interesting. Aaron Rodgers would certainly love a dynamic playmaker like Antonio Brown as well. Seattle, Doug Baldwin on one side. Antonio Brown on the other side. That could be good. Tyler Lockett stretching the field. All right, let's go 2018 select football. We're now in the world of 2018. Last three boxes will be 2018, and then we'll give away that football. Now, the difficulty, if I remember correctly, the difficulty with Antonio Brown is that he's a uh, he's not a free agent, so he has to be traded, right? So who's who's gonna have the money and 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 the assets, both the money and the assets to to snag Antonio Brown? But Le'Veon Bell is a free agent, right? So Le'Veon Bell can go, could go anywhere. So who wants to pay for Le'Veon Bell? Raiders, maybe? I don't know. The, my, my Raiders could do so many wacky things. I have just no idea where they're going to go. I could, I could see them, I could see them trading Derek Carr, getting more picks, Getting Kyler Murray, then get Le'Veon Bell, and then shore up the rest of the team with all those draft picks. <laughs> Something wacky like that. And get Antonio Brown. Might as well. Le'Veon Bell to Baltimore? That would be pretty funny, actually. Division rival? Twice a year. Antonio, or uh, twice, twice a year. Le'Veon Bell will want to destroy the Steelers. Points. I'll be randomized to one person in the break. Sony Michelle die cut. Two out of 49. Is Russell Wilson, does he need a Le'Veon Bell in the backfield? 
There's Marshawn Lynch. I wonder if he'll come back for another year. Alex Smith, Redskins, die cut. Do the Redskins... Okay, Brand says no. Brand says no, emphatically. So you'd rather have Antonio Brown than Le'Veon Bell. Aren't both uh, troublemakers, allegedly? At least that's what, that's what the Steelers would have you believe. There's our old friend D-Rob showing up in 2018. 48 out of 49. That will be for the Chiefs. That goes to Richard Lupu and the Chiefs. All right, so Brandon, Brandon says, Antonio Brown, yes. Le'Veon Bell, no. Oh, Bell is one suspension away from a ban, says Kip. Oh, so there's... Who's going to take a chance on that? Out of 199, David Johnson, tricolor. XRC card, third running back in the draft. That's a tie-dye parallel as well. So at the end of the break, here's how we're going to do it. The name on top will get the football. The second name will get the XRC. The third name will get the points. Does that work for everybody? It's fine. There's Will Disley out of 99 for the Seahawks. And we got the Chosen Rosen, three-color relic. Where does he go? Someone said, or I don't know if this is true or not, or if this has been confirmed or not. Someone said that Josh Rosen took down all Cardinals-related posts on, uh, or mentions on, on his Instagram. I don't know what that means. Is he going to get traded? Is Cliff Kingsbury going to go with new coach? Is he going to go with Kyler Murray, number one overall? Plates and patches. Kip, uh, Brandon was saying Wilson would calm Antonio Brown down. Kip saying Wilson is half the size of Ben. Good luck. I, Brandon, I think Brandon's like, well, Wilson's way better than Ben Rosper. I think he's suggesting that when uh, Antonio Brown wants to fight. <laughs> Speaking of Russell Wilson, there he is. Two, from 2017 National Treasures Football, it's the plate. From NT, that goes to William Fulmer. Another train whistle for you, William. This time, dangerous. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, you did call it. You did call another train whistle. Some sort of sorcery happening there. Out of 30, Jameson Crowder. Mmm, Jameson. We got Dual Relic, Royce Freeman, Bradley Chubb, 47 out of 67, going to Brad and the Broncos, little Oppo Joe Mojo. Robert Woods revealing a Hall of Famer, All Hall, 6 out of 25, Rayfield Wright. Going to Jacqueline and the Cowboys. All right, and our last box. <laughs> oh, Kip. Yeah, probably. Also, Kip was saying before, he hates Big Ben. It's debatable, he thinks. I think Russell Wilson's better. Oh, they're kind of different quarterbacks. Russell Wilson, Ben Rosberg. Way better though. Yeah, they're probably a lot more similar than we think. Actually, in terms of, I don't know, what do the stats say? Well, they got such different teams. They construct their team so differently too. How do you actually assess that? Their body types are completely different. They're in completely different offenses. You know, I mean, they both have a Super Bowl ring, right? I think. So you can't really separate them like that. But they're different players. I mean, who, both 
Russell Wilson and Ben Roethlisberger have orchestrated, you know, plenty of fourth quarter comebacks. They're pretty good at that. They might be a little more similar than we think. All right, behind Cole Beasley, 2 out of 99 is Devontae Parker. Limitless relic, 22 out of 50. Some nice color in there for the Dolphins. Brandon Luger with that. Behind Quincy Inunua is Shaquem Griffin. Nice. William Fulmer with another Seahawks. 60 out of 99. <laughs> Kip suggesting that this guy does have limits. Nice Shaquem Griffin. And behind Larry Fitzgerald is another Seahawk for William. Rashad Penny. Nice relic. Could use more of that canvas, Rashad, if you're listening. 210 out of 299 going to William Fulmer. There you go, William. Congrats. All right. So name on top, Michael Thomas autograph football. Nice. Second name gets the XRC tie-dye prison redemption of the third running back taken in this year's draft. And the third name will get 400 points. Nice little consolation. So let's go back to the list. Right there. Let's get everyone's names from Brandon down to Patrick. And there's everyone right there. Kev actually wants the running back card more than the autograph football. Well, maybe you might end up with that. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list six and a four, 10 times, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10th and final time. Six and a four, 10 times, top three, get something. Number three, we'll get the points. And that'll be Bobby Guzman with the 400 points. Brandon Luger gets the XRC RB3 card. And and it was, it was Sam Rail that was on top. I actually clicked the print button. Well, Sam Rail's name was on top. So there you go, Sam, with the uh, football. So there you go. Yes, I saw it too. Everyone saw it. All right, you'll see in the video too when I post it. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody. That was the, your nine box stiff arm football mixer on the 28th of February. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.